however in my personal life and just for me i think i did have to take a break Hmm. i think i did have to slow down because i couldn't keep up with myself do you know so i mean i had to take breaks where it was necessary you know i had to focus on my mental health I had to take care of me. So that's something that I've recently done. And that's why, like, when you asked me, how are you? I really am so good, you know? I'm like, good. I recently said this to somebody. I was like, you know what? I'm about to turn 22. Like, that's that's adult. I feel like that's an adult, adult age. Yeah. I was like, I think I'm, like, I'm ready to grow up now. Because I've that's been crazy. doing a We're lot of stuff. Age. And I've been mature for a while. Yeah, yeah. we are. But I just think that, like, now I'm I'm ready to do it. Like, I'm very comfortable in it. It's not scary. It's not daunting to me, you know. But that, in order to get to a place where I could say that, I had to work on my mental health. Actually do the work. I had to take a break. I had to go to therapy. You know, like, all of that stuff. I'm, I'm talking about, like, serious stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's not something people take seriously. It's actually yeah. so taboo to actually talk about mental health. And I'm actually, I'm really glad that you are able to work through that. For sure. And I think it's and like, still show up. I don't know. I think people right now, what I noticed after having experienced it myself was that like the, the narrative or the rhetoric around mental health is very surface level is very, if you have depression, open up about it or whatever, you know. But I don't feel like there's a lot of, okay, what are the tools? What are the possibilities of this happening to you? What do you do if you find yourself in a situation where you're going through a depressive episode or you're experiencing anxiety? Because, you know, sometimes it doesn't have to be chronic. You're not living with it your whole life. You can just have an episode and some people have one episode and never have one again in their lives or maybe they just have two in their whole life you know um but i do want to and this is just for me personally start using the platforms that i have when it's i guess appropriate to do so like like the social media do you delete social media like yeah i mean i'm going i'm starting to get into talking about it on social media but i mean like talking about it on platforms like this with you you know yeah i think it's it's good for people to see it and to yeah. know that they're not alone mm. if they're going through this, you for know. For sure, for sure. I like that you're so open. Do you have anything that helps you? Do you meditate when you need a break? I have, okay. So because I opted to not take any medication mm. purely because I tried it for three yeah. days, it did not work for Makes me. Makes you a zombie, ne? Yo. I didn't like it. I was like, I'd rather drink tea or yeah. go to therapy. That's why. So I went through like an intense therapy program. Um, it was like a whole cognitive behavioral therapy and dialective, dialectical behavioral therapy program. Um, so now my coping mechanisms, the way that I live my life, I practice a lot of mindfulness. Sorry. No, I practice a lot more mindfulness. I'm a lot more connected with myself, mm-hmm. you know, um, which is so much better for me and for my growth because I can keep up with myself or I can, you know, I can live life to its fullest, yeah. honestly, you know. To the best of your ability. 